We begin tonight with the Western New York tributes to our local veterans. Many of you spending the day honoring our servicemen and women. That's what we have been doing here at 7 News today as well, traveling to numerous events hosted throughout our region to hear from our veterans and say thank you for your service. When I signed up when I was a kid, as you grow older, uh, the meaning of being a veteran, less than 10% of our population are actually veterans. Uh, the meaning of serving your country really grows on you with age. An emotional day across the nation and here at home as we say thank you to our servicemen and women. Dozens gathering at Elm Lawn Cemetery to celebrate the formal dedication of a new monument on the field of honor. And five. Patriotism is really just awesome. Another ceremony was hosted by the VFW on Grand Island. It included a military service flag presentation, an introduction of the color guard by Boy Scout Troop 630. It's good to see things like this here because it just makes you feel really good. We lead by example. When we bring these children to these events and to the other events, God bless the people who do it, and God bless the kids for coming. Veteran Al Prame says he is thankful for all the support on Veterans Day and every day. I got two brothers, and all three of us served in the Tin Can Navy. And I, if I was going to go again, that's where I'd want to go, in the Tin Can Navy. In the Buffalo Naval and Military Park hosting its annual Veterans Day ceremony Friday morning at the Hangar Building. It included an Hispanic American veterans event and presentation. To a veteran, it doesn't matter who you were, what you believed, where you were from, or the color of your skin. We all faced the same dangers together, and we all knew that we always had each other's back. Memorial Day is the day we honor all those who died serving our country. Veterans Day is the day we rem remember and honor all the men and women who have served their country. I'm proud to be counted among their members. And despite the pouring rain, our community's pride in our veterans clear as day. Pride. It's, it's summed up in pride, and we thank everybody in the country for recognizing that today. It's not about free breakfast, it's about free America. We want to thank you for your service as well. Thanks a lot. And on this Veterans Day, a chance for our vets to get a free haircut. Hair with gemstones on Abbott Road, offering no-cost services to active military or veterans. For the owner, she says this is all about helping our heroes feel their best. This is my kindergarten dream. This is my passion. This is what I love. And outside of doing this for Veterans Day, this makes me feel content in general, just running my own business and cutting people's hair and making them feel good in the moment so then they can carry that on throughout their day. Great job. And she's offering these free haircuts until 7 tonight and says she plans to do this every Veterans Day, even if it falls on a day that the salon is usually closed.